sorcerer. I was at a week-long workshop with a man for whom I have the greatest admiration and respect. And I was angry with him for the most childish of all possible reasons. I thought he wasn't paying enough attention to me. So I was angry at him. I was filled with resentment. I was filled with envidia and resentment. And one day I was sitting there in the seminar and out of my mouth there flew a spider. A big, black, <laughs> ugly spider whose body was about the size and shape of an egg. And this flew out of my mouth and landed on his cheek and dissolved into his body. And I said to myself, whoa, I didn't know I was that angry, but I didn't think anything about it until the next day when this man came back and told us all that his wife's breast cancer that they had thought was in remission had returned. Now my rational mind knows that my anger, that this black, hairy, ugly spider spitting out of my mouth onto his face had nothing to do with the recurrence of that cancer. Even the most powerful sorcerer can't make time go backwards. And the spider hit him, not his wife, for all kinds of rational reasons. I know that my spider had nothing to do with his wife's cancer, and yet I still feel guilty. And there are three important things here that I think I have learned from that little experience. One is that in the upper Amazon, they are right. We all have the ability, for the most petty and childish of reasons, to break the bonds of friendship and trust that we have with each other. That we all are capable at any time, out of anger and resentment, of projecting our own spiders on other people. Everybody here has at one time or another had an ugly black spider leap out of their mouth and land on the face of someone they admire and respect, but we don't see it unless our eyes have been opened by ayahuasca. I think there is another point that is really important. Once your eyes have been opened, once you have entered the visionary world, there is no going back. What ayahuasca teaches is that we live in a world that is filled with magic and wonder. Right now, this room is filled with the spirits. I once asked one of my teachers whether he saw the spirits all the time. And he said, yes, he saw the spirits all the time, but vaguely, ayahuasca, he said, was like putting on glasses. In the same way, this room right now, the walls of this room are tiled with a brilliant, tessellated pattern of all different colors. That is the way this room really is. But we only see it when we drink ayahuasca. But what ayahuasca gives us is the knowledge that everything is filled with wonder and magic and beauty. I was told that when the plants sing, when the plants sing, ultimately what you hear 
is puro sonido, pure sound, which is the language of the plants. This room is now filled with the singing of the plants, and we can't hear it. I think it is unfair that we seek meaning in images that appear to us in dreams, but we do not seek the same meaning in images that appear to us that we label as real. One last point out of this story. I think every once in a while, I am tempted to do it again. Every time somebody cuts in front of me in traffic and then gives me the finger, I am tempted to have a spider come out of my mouth. I am tempted to try to project one of these pathogenic darts and just see what happens. But I can't. I can't ever try it again because the difference between being a healer and being a sorcerer is self-control. Thank you.